Hey everybody, welcome back to Kowali Zoo. It has been a moment, hasn't it, boys? <laughs> yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's been a year for you I now. Don't, <laughs> I don't remember the last time that Syl was on a video. Me neither. <laughs> Does I, that I, say I, was say, I bet he does neither. <laughs> I don't remember the last well, we time I've seen this game. But uh, <laughs> it, I have to say, it, hey. it actually feels good to be back. Like, I know it's a cliche, but it really do be like that. Oh. <laughs> well, Planet Zoo released a bunch of new DLCs, and that uh, well, at some point you'll you, want to Mike, probably. You yeah. have to be precise. A bunch oh, for you. you don't even know. I, I have to re-explain the game to him every five seconds because he forgets that certain pieces are in the game. Hey, shut up! <laughs> How about that? <laughs> This is going to be a fun episode. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm back in the file. Um, I know that's a that's a shock for people as well. Uh, that's but, a warning. Uh, yeah, that happened. Yeah. And I was able to fix some things that I have left broken for a embarrassingly long time. So um, we're going to focus on this side of the zoo. And uh, let's, let's just start get going with it. I am going to keep it paused because if I try... Eh... It's actually quite fine, but... It's okay. I'm gonna keep it paused. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So, do you remember this building? Um, this hasn't been touched in quite a long time, either. Mm -hmm. I don't fully remember what it was supposed to be. I think it was I like know, an I built this building, station? and... Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a yeah, it was info at some point and it did have a little stand in there. Um, I have uh, kind of boarded it up, make it make it have like actual doors. I didn't put an interior on this. That comes later. Uh, but did add a little bit of a seating area here and just kind of uh, closed it off a little bit to make it more kind of enjoyable mm -hmm. for anybody who is picnicking. No, looks good. That'd be really nice. This area um again there's a few changes here oh this is really cool so <laughs> oh, have you ever is... used the uh the program what is that called um wombo yes oh this is the thing that like automatically generates stuff depending on like what you give it and certain themes yeah oh, yeah oh, exactly. so yes. cool so, that looks so we like... have nine wombo pieces of art all strewn about the zoo that looks like i, I do have to say it looks like a plan yeah. of avatar it kind of reminds me of those like AI generated images that are meant to look like something but not resemble anything at all. And then they ask you like, name one object on this image and you look at it and your head just starts exploding. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> how I feel about this one. I, I do like the zebra eye in that one. That's kind of yeah. creepy oh, coming yeah. out of the Manzanita. Um, but yeah, this one I think is called Zebra Manzanita Bougainvillea. Uh, and it, oh, wow. it, true to form, it did it quite well. <laughs> That's such a cool That's idea, really, though. I love really this. Really cool, yeah. I like how it. I like how it fits in the zoo because we've we've gotten so many art installations that we're like, okay, this year's theme for the zoo is art at the zoo, I guess. And this, yeah, just well, it's like in. it's like it's a it's a oversized surreal painting, yeah. you know. Yeah. I, um, I, you'll find that the placemaking of Kowali Zoo is no longer rural, but we'll get to that in another episode because <laughs> it's not quite done yet. I mean, but the um, thing is, what I like about this a lot is, I remember when we've been to, to Thailand and so, um, they had this um, insanely big like garden park that was installed mm -hmm. for like a royal show kind of thing. And that mm -hmm. was, I think it was like six years ago from where we've been there. And oh boy, was that thing broken down. But I, I don't want to know how much <laughs> money they spent on this freaking park. So I assume it would make a lot of sense that you kind of have more than one usage for such a gigantic mm -hmm. project, you know, especially in these yeah. areas mm -hmm. that are like magnets for tourists. So you can have like tourists oh, for absolutely. art, for zoos, for landscapes, you know. And I think that's, that's where mm -hmm. Kuali is really going to. Uh, over here is just a simple little bench uh, clean up here. I think this was a, a path bit that broke, so we just turned it into a little a little divider like that. Oh, speaking about that, Mike, did you actually use uh, all the barriers everywhere so that there's no clipping and stuff? Hmm, I'm going to walk away. That's, that's <laughs> one uh, of the things that I had to explain to him. Like, um, Mike, we have curbs and barriers now. I didn't know it at the time that we had curbs and barriers. <laughs> I don't remember which DLC that came with. North uh, America Animal uh, Park. Oh, that's, that's, that's a long way away. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go up to the restaurant. We have reservations uh, for a little bit later in the day. Ooh, but that looks that really so cool. Silv's restaurant. 
I like how you prepared a little uh, lore for this whole tour here. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little, uh, there's a lot more of the, like, the New Jersey tea shrub right here, um, just to make it a little bit more. Oh, this is a custom tree. I'm starting to develop to say, some yeah. uh, custom wow. plants again. That's so good. This is a Chinese pistache tree. Because I, I thought it's you really used cool. something from the Europe pack, but the trees from the Europe pack are, uh, well, uh, they're, they're okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna totally shit on them, but they're okay. <laughs> Well, there goes what the PG-13 rating for this episode, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> what I do love is that we got really cool, um, these sort of like simple pieces of the, the banners and the fence posts and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. You can make some pretty nice um, nice railings now. Oh, we got so a lot cool. of really cool small pieces. Yeah, that's the one thing. Like, when when we were recording uh, the Tarmashadi episode, you were like, okay, show me all the pieces first. And after that, you were like, "Oh God damn it! I want to, I want to build with this." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing a lot of building um, when you were working with the Europe Pack, and so I hold, didn't hold realize on. how useful those pieces would have been. Hold on, Mike. Yeah. I think people don't know the left-hand side here because I fell into yeah. the same trap last time. I we That's know right. it. We know it already for a while, but it, people don't. Oh yeah, yeah, this is new. I built this like back when we had the aquatic set. <laughs> and it never got finished. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, yeah, this is uh, this kind of gets you up to the other side of the uh, Grand Peacock Restaurant, um, mm -hmm. which is what Silv's Restaurant is called now. Mm -hmm. um, and so this kind of takes you up the backside. I'm I'm gonna save that for a second, but yeah, we just got this sort of like artificial because this used to be a giant fountain, if you remember. Yeah. Um, or like a, a, a splash wall or something like that with mm -hmm. tiles. Mm -hmm. But once we had these really cool waterfall pieces, I was like, all right, we got to use those. And I think it turned it, out it you know, pretty it nice. It fits more than yeah, I love yeah. It. the previous wall. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. All right, we're just going to cut through the micro house real quick. Nothing has changed in here. I've looked at this and I'm like, mm, I want to change something up. And then I'm like, nope. I Actually, Mike, it's wasn't fine. there this? There was this one point in time, right, where you wanted to straight up remove this whole thing and redo <laughs> the whole thing, and we were all like, "No, nope. <laughs> you did something way too good here." Exactly. So, no, you can't do that. I'm yeah, glad it was going to be good. enclosed, and it was going to be an either the nocturnal house, house yeah. or it was going to be like an aquarium or something like that. But when Aquatic Set came out and went, and it wasn't really super fishy. I was like, mm, this is fine. I mean, <laughs> given given our speed of building and finishing the project, we still might yes. get a chance. To <laughs> <laughs> we might get to it. Indeed. It's possible. <laughs> it's definitely possible. Um, this yeah, it has definitely shown its age a little bit, but, you know, it's one of my most It really is it has. It, it, no. <laughs> it's totally not showing it. You're it's way age. too Come hard on. on yourself. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? I am no, hard wait, on myself. Wait, wait, wait. What the hell? Oh, why did you come <laughs> up here, Mike? We had such a cool entrance on the other side. Oh, did we? Did we? Yes. Um, um, <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> I know I know the pieces from that playground, but I don't know oh, them yeah. in this location. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the playground did move. Um, we did... Uh, yeah, I, th I can say we, right? It yeah, was both like, me and even. Ha half this episode is mine, half the other half is yours. So, right. yeah, because even for whatever reason, decided to work on his project and not the group collaboration. But whatever, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's almost <laughs> as if that other project is also a collaboration, Mike. But let's continue. <laughs> shut up. Hey, shut up, shut up, shut up. Um, this oh, yeah. area got a pretty big uh, demolition and rebuild as well. Um, this was getting to a point where I couldn't really tell what was going on anymore. Yeah. And that's usually, that usually means that we've had too much going on. So here's what I did. Um, I put some of this sort of like big path back so that you have this sort of line all the way to the tiger trail, um, uh, big cats area. Yeah. And then I kind of created this so that it, this also kind of draws you into the Highlands Trail. Yeah, I love, I love the usage. Which now has some really cool the... night lighting. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so I love cool. this. I love this. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that at night with everything else. Uh, but then in here, we had a sort of like 
uh, crossroads of the petting zoo and um, so you had the the kangaroos here and then you had the uh, what is the it camels. camels over here yeah 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 so they're all still there we didn't remove any animals or anything like that but we did make the kangaroo area a little bit more lush mm -hmm. um, so that they have a little bit more protection under the hot tropical sun mm -hmm. um, that connects to something over there which we'll get to in just a sec um, but the petting zoo area is still here. Um, oh, yeah, it was like just that. pushed back a little bit. Yeah, I like that. So what actually... you end up with with this... Oh, go ahead. There's actually so much more in the game now that we could technically go yeah. back to make this a lot more of a petting area. I think I still did that mm -hmm. before the, 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 the showcase stuff and the talks and stuff were mm -hmm. even in the game. So, exactly. yeah. Let's think about that later. But yeah, like I like the fact that we touch it because it, this one has been outdated because of all the updates. Yes, it definitely has. So the big um, thing in here is I wanted to make sure I used almost like flow um, flow mechanics. So you've got this path and you've got this wall. And what this is supposed to visually do is keep you on this path unless you want to go off and take a look at the kangaroos. Right. So you've got this main area that goes a little bit, uh, allows you to go a little bit faster and also draws you to that really cool, because this is kind of the end of the zoo right here. Mm -hmm. um, this this big element right here. So I wanted to make sure that wasn't covered up either. So just with a little bit of, of tweaking and making sure that um, you, you just have these really direct paths through here. If I go up a little bit further, you can see that... Oh my, what, what, they're holy really... Holy shit. Mm. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're there's a there. uh, lot of stuff. In here. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got you've got pads moving into the micro house, through the micro house, out of the micro house, and to the back of the zoo. So that kind of I, marks the edge uh, there. I'm Jeez. freaking intrigued. What's going on now? Mm. Mm -hmm. hey, All right, we'll go back down. <laughs> Is Sil's like a uh, resort area is is on my to-do list to kind of uh, make that nice and uh, integrate it into the rest of the file. Mm -hmm. um, so that's don't don't worry, that's not going away. This is also, by the um, way, the, the the point where we saved your tiles from the micro house. Yes, I, I always liked that. Um, this back here. In fact, I'm just going to pop this tonight. Real quick. Yeah, I think it works really well here. God damn it. So with the new lighting options mm. that we have, it's just really pretty. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it feels like nighttime in a zoo. I love it. It, it really feels like that because um, there's like each in, in Belgium, at least, and I know in a lot of other countries as well. So you do these light shows at nights, like once, mm -hmm. once a year in a specific season, and it feels exactly like that. It's insane. Well done. Yeah, I always well done. liked this. This was um, this was the very front of the zoo, right? This was mm -hmm. the this is yeah. yeah yeah. I I used <laughs> this back then to to block away the view from the well vastness of nothing. <laughs> uh -huh. As we get in here, the pathing changes once again because this should feel like a bit of an older section, mm -hmm. and so you end up with a terminus instead of just a straight shot right into the temple, mm -hmm. um, and then that kind of draws you in that way. So, I love it. It's a little bit of landscaping done in here. Um, this was before I was started using the Build Plus tool, and so all of these, oh, yeah. <laughs> all of these custom staircases were done the old-fashioned way. Uh, if you don't have, if you're not using the Build Plus tool, you should um, just be careful when you install it. Um, but it is fantastic the way that you're able to do pathing pretty effortlessly. You're not fighting with the path tool anymore. And uh, I think we can all appreciate that. Oh yeah, exactly. absolutely, yeah. I can also appreciate that you added the wheelchair ramp. Very nice. Yes, yes. I remember your tweet. So, uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What was the tweet? Uh, it was I, a very <laughs> aggressive tweet about you should. <laughs> there's no excuse. <laughs> Added. Yeah, it's something about like, don't let me catch you building any parts yes, that aren't exactly. uh, wheelchair accessible. Exactly. Oh, absolutely. I, I think that it, I think that it's a design challenge, especially yeah. when you have a hilly park like this. Um, sometimes oh, you gotta... This is just like a new building as like an entrance building or is this still the zoo or is this... I... So this I... was this was in the previous episode as well. And this is the entrance mm -hmm. to the big cat area. And oh, it's I remember. Based... Okay, yeah. It's based on a building in Thailand in a zoo as well. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I remember now. Okay, yeah. What's that? What's that in the distance? Uh, hmm? It's very big. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know so what that part is. Of, I part guess. of placemaking, um, I have... I've been on Instagram for my other business, and so sometimes when I use the search function, it shows me like all of the the wet dreams of uh, modern architecture slash eco architecture. Mm -hmm. And I felt like this area, especially as, as it's becoming more urban, um, would have something like this, like the forest city type uh, aesthetic. So there's mm -hmm. a little forest city, um, not little, it's quite big actually. <laughs> uh, like resort back there but it's just background it's not it's <laughs> i'm not building another resort <laughs> we have two <laughs> so what you're saying with this is i could build some skyscrapers and put them in the background of koali oh god that would be amazing yeah oh yeah that mm -hmm. would be amazing we, we, we finally you, you found sure it. you sure haven't done that yet mike right I have not done that. <laughs> Shush, shut up, shut up. Oh, oh yeah, right. I remember. Uh, I was told to behave in this recording. I completely. I believe that. this one was called Tiger Monstera. Um, that's what. Uh, wow, that's that's definitely that works. It, yeah, very fitting. <laughs> I like that. You, you definitely get a have to give us the link afterwards. I I just wanted to do that. As oh well. yeah. Isn't it Wombo app? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll find that. Awesome. Okay, and as you come down this way, now instead of a rather small path uh, to get over to the camels, oh, that was tiny. you have this nice old-fashioned staircase that then takes you to a little bit of a landmark oh, that draws you bridge, out yeah. over the camel area. Oh, I love that, yeah. So, you can still see the backstage a little bit, um, which I think is nice. I think yeah. it's, it's nice to see both sides. Because it, I mean, they're camels. And, I don't think they're going to be bothered by... People in zoos, no. that's that's a common thing, and you sometimes, like I sometimes lean over fences and stuff to get like a picture of the backstage. Um, so I yeah. could I could imagine me just standing here on that bridge trying to take pictures of that backstage. Oh, <laughs> I love the fact, by the way, that you used now all the flexi color like stone options and stuff. I remember oh, when yeah. I built this and I wanted to make this mm -hmm. nice backdrop. We barely had any stone that was flexi color mm -hmm. in the game. And it was so hard to find a, a good color because you can see them, uh, the, these bricks on the ground, like all the cobble. This mm -hmm. was way too bright. Oh, and yeah. then, you, then you only had like the Asian stone, which was way too dark. That's about it. Yep. And now you have all the, I love that. I love the option to have it now a lot more colorful and fitting to the environment. Coming back to Planet Zoo and, and building it and again, after having a little bit of a break, you really start to appreciate how much the game has been transformed. Mm -hmm. Um, not just by the the custom, you know, the community, but by the people who make it. Like the packs that have come out, the scenery that you have access to, the all the aquatic rocks, and these were actually built with aquatic uh, tree stumps uh, or trunks. Um, mm -hmm. They're fantastic. Yep, that looks amazing. Like totally changes, totally changes the game, and then it's continued on this side too. It, this was always, I, I always felt like Rudy's camel area was just kind of not um, not super easy to, to view. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make sure that you really had a good a good shot of it. Oh yeah, and it was also like in the very end of the zoo and didn't really feel integrated at that point. Because we, we mm -hmm. always were lacking Sylph's hotel area because of unknown reasons. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, this is the, um, the really kind of viewing it. area here. And if you look behind, like, ooh, what's yep. this? Oh, wow. Oh, this is interesting. Wait, how how is that custom sign made? This one? Ah. You yeah, got Mike, the derpy ones uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> I think Eben has, to, has yeah. to tell me that. So, um, it's just basically art shapes and the 2D font pieces, but you can make the 2d font pieces look 3d by just oh, uh, right dragging it one layer below it yeah exactly oh, oh that's really smart i love that yeah it's, that's it's really a, smart it's a technique that wyatt started doing a long while ago and that it's, it's super funny we get 2d fonts and we try to make them look like they're 3d <laughs> right <laughs> that's because the 3d is yeah, too big you know, to work with also again yeah this is so 
this is so right. Like you, we, we have to praise Frontier so much, but also at the other some points they are so inconsistent. Like, why <laughs> do they give us these fonts and then they have two versions, like a 3D and 2D, and they have different sizes? Like, why the hell are they not the same size? I I'm just why don't get the same material. Oh, Mike. Yeah. Okay, you finished this area up quite nicely. I oh my oh, goodness! Thank you. Me. Oh so my even goodness. yeah started this, this looks area. amazing wow that crane though and oh boy oh. <laughs> we'll get to that so this is the sort of like viewing area this is um even was actually kind of teaching me this so when you have a show you generally either have to have a training pool or you need to have a space for the animals to go um when they're not being trained so in our case uh, I'm going to go up just a little bit again. What we ended up doing is we have the show area that is used to train. And then we have this sort of like habitat area, um, this habitat pool that can be used more as a uh, rest area for them. Mm -hmm. oh, damn, that looks so cool. Let me just interrupt yeah. for a second here. I've been to sure. an aquarium like two months ago in uh, Valencia. I think it's one of the most well-known mm -hmm. ones worldwide. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Like it's called the Oceanographic or so. Yeah, my Spanish yep. is great. Exactly. Um, uh -huh. But uh, the vibe they, they had going on there is pretty similar to what you've achieved here. I mean, obviously it's it's been more in the modern architectural, you know, Valencia style. Um, mm -hmm. But uh -huh. I think the vibe, you know, uh, immediately getting to it, feeling a little bit more underground already to, you know, actually look up into the pools and tanks and having the separation really feels like uh -huh. what they've been doing there. And that is so cool. Like this this vibe also with the with all of the backstage stuff that you can see, like the cranes and all the all mm -hmm. the floodlights and stuff. I just really had that same feeling at, again in this moment. So, so really like, cool. Yeah, this is so cool. These are um, Californian sea lions, and in many zoos they use backgrounds with uh, the typical Californian wharves. Um, mm -hmm. And I, which makes I, sense, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I know that like in Indonesia and in Thailand, you have zoos that that have that background as well. But I was like, I, I kind of don't want to do that. Um, so I tried to research some um, wharves in. Thailand and uh, Thailand and in Indonesia, which wasn't that easy. Um, but you can, no, you, you can yeah, you can see it that it, it does kind of have that style. So it's not mm -hmm. it, it it's the same principle, but it's not the typical American uh, war. I think it, I think it really has the the same kind of vibe for sure. And I think yeah. maybe it partly just comes down to the materials as well, the corrugated yeah, exactly. roofs and things like that. Really love yeah. the rock work on this as well. It, really carries the vibe thank you yeah he did a great job um all i did really was to frame out the windows and then add a little bit of this aquatic rock at the mm. base oh and then i got to have fun with the paths too because you can have <laughs> paths really close to one another um using that path builder tool or the uh the uh what's it called even uh free build mod build plus or something like that yeah super build sure <laughs> all right <laughs> and so we have a show it yeah. doesn't function i have tried <laughs> um but here we go <laughs> so people would have a, a a date or a time to come back to and they'd all wait in this area that's why it's nice big and flat um i reused this structure from i believe this was rudy's uh area behind the camels this used to be that sort of like little village and so that's so, been, yeah. Um, yeah yeah changed up that, and so that had to make when place everything's just... ready, the doors open and everybody goes into the stadium. You cleaned this up really well, nice. Mike. Really. I was... Oh, and this is the fun part. This is this is just so... perfect. Oh yeah. I oh yeah. You guys, that. guys, you get you have to give him his moment. He's had it twice already and he's <laughs> oh. still so giddy about it. <laughs> it's a tropical zoo, so I, I should probably have a retractable roof. <laughs> and it's got little stoppers and it's got rails and everything. Sweet. That is He's so, so cool. happy with that. <laughs> I, I wish am. we would have I... some basic animatronics in this game. I just wish we had that. Oh, this that is so nice. good. I can instantly see myself sitting at one of these shows. I think yep. this really nailed the look of the stages. Yeah. And look at all the stupid kids sitting in the front and getting super soaked. <laughs> yeah. And the parents so, yeah, that this... have to deal with it the whole day. That's right. There's this area, and then if you want to get super, super, super soaked, 
There's also the yeah, standing yeah. room only area. Oh, you love the decals. I see that. I see. I see your little. Yeah. Ah. Everything I broken up on the ground. Oh, I just love that. It gives yeah. it so oh much more character. Uh, if you want to go to the higher ones, you have this really steep ramp. You probably want to be pushing a wheelchair. You probably don't want them to, uh, to have to <laughs> yeah. drive the Maximum of 10% according to the ADA regulations, <laughs> Mike. That's a Maximum? That's it? Maximum of 10%? Yeah, uh, this uh, is probably more than 10%. Yeah, yeah Mike, y you did this ramp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, did not, I did not. <laughs> but they, they didn't say how many times 10%. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's, it's times sure. a few percent. <laughs> Not sure. There's also, change, but... just in case there's too much wind or too much background oh, or anything this. like that, there's also some curtains to pull I uh, in case. So yeah, yeah, this is the Quali show. It's not very cleverly named, but it has an exclamation point. <laughs> Quali show. <laughs> <laughs> so it must, it, it must be fancy and it's a fact. So. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, like even was saying, it's really hard to find uh, reference photos of like a vintage port. Um, yeah. So a lot of this is made up because um, Tanjung is a giant port. Like it's the biggest port in uh, yeah. Indonesia. But it does have it does have uh, a building like that with the letters on yeah. the roof. Um, so mm -hmm. that was that was a main inspiration behind that. Uh, but but I think honestly, it, it, just, it just works. I'm yeah, I think it nails it. For Thank sure. you. I think also, you know, given the fact that this is a zoo in Indonesia, you know, if it were real, then they would surely be trying to come up with a way to make this look like uh, uh, show stages that you find elsewhere in the world. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then find that they would have to adapt it to the local climate and culture a little bit. And I feel like this looks exactly like the outcome of you know, whatever that brainstorming session would be in real life. Well, the Absolutely. thing is, yeah. in, nice. in real life, it actually looks like your classic American styled uh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> So for, <laughs> I, I really wanted to avoid that here. I really wanted to yeah, give it a vibe fair. that was not the classical American one. Um, but, but I'm yeah, so in I, love. I'm so in love even that you just embrace that derpy sea line. Uh, Yes. Yeah, like, I was looking I at it, it as well. Like, oh I man. love it. I, I know the signs of the North American Animal Pack are super derpy, but I love them. <laughs> they have a very special place in my heart, and and mm -hmm. I, oh, yeah, I just love them. <laughs> That's the thing. Have you ever been to a zoo? They're typically in that illustrative style, and they're pretty yeah. derpy. Yeah, exactly. They're for kids. So here's another right, cool, we... cool detail on okay. your left, uh, on your right, Mike. Um, okay. It, it's um, the monorail passes by the um, oh, the water right. area, so we put up a screen to avoid people you know, throwing in all kinds of stuff that they shouldn't be throwing in. Mm -hmm. That's very clever. Just hope that there are not people that can throw pretty far, because <laughs> left and right. <laughs> Here is one of, I believe, Silverette's yeah. gazebos? Yep, exactly. that's the one. I think oh, that's that right. That was the moved. area where the. I think this this are. piece has the chance of becoming the most moved piece in the. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a really cool award. I'll take it. <laughs> it looks amazing though. Yeah, yeah, I like that as a little a little extra observation for the camels because they can get pretty dang close right here. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. If they choose to. Uh, they would. If you have the yeah, right sure. the right stuff to chew on, they they just do. Oh, also, I think okay. we haven't mentioned this yet, but um, all through all through this children's area, because it's full of animals that are typically for children, we have these. Oh, that's right. We have these animals on poles, these animal statues, and it's like a kind of thing mm -hmm. when you come into this area, you have to count all of them, and at the end of the of the day, you 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 fill in a folder, and it's like, oh, I found everyone, and. Yeah. And then oh, they throw cool. it on the ground or throw it into an enclosure, and yeah, then exactly. the keeper has to. Pull that's it. actually it's like pretty... the dragons at Fantasia Land, but like less super hard mode. Exactly. <laughs> but it's exactly. Super, it's, super not hard mode. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny, you know. Now, now that I am actually, um, you know, getting into the time where you have to spend time to research how education works, um, yeah. this is one of the fun parts that many, many uh, parks and stuff have that going on, really to help mm -hmm. parents, you know, get get mm -hmm. these kids excited because it's pretty hard to have a kid 
being excited throughout a whole zoo tour. Like, man, these kids don't have much time <laughs> for, for being, you know, uh, concentrated, even though they're oh. animals and stuff. And this is such a big help if there's something installed like that, because then you have at oh, least yeah. a couple of minutes to just relax and let them search for these dang animals. <laughs> no. That's a good point. I've I've promised I've promised Mike that I would behave, so I'm not gonna talk about how I went to the zoo to two zoos last week, and I was <laughs> severely annoyed by all of the children at the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a fine story. It, uh, children are annoying. <laughs> oh, look, my shell. My, yeah, 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 they are. Full stop. I mean, my perception of that didn't change. <laughs> <laughs> When it's your it own, amazing. it's a little different, but yeah, it's... it's uh. See, but this is this is one thing I do still want to mention. Um, this is something that happened in Tarmashadi. It's something that happened in Ru in Rubel's Tivoli Zoo. Once mm -hmm. you have a building in the background, it just... It just... Oh, it, it sets it in place, yeah. Yeah, it transforms your entire zoo. And, like, it, it, Rubel... Rubel phrased it in the in the best way, I think. Like Zeus tries so hard not to to be supernatural, and then you get mm -hmm. like a, a random building in the background, and it and it, I think it's that breaking point that makes it so amazing and so cool. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I mean, your immersion's already broken with all the fences and barriers and stuff like that. Yeah. I think the building actually kind of frames it out quite nicely. Yeah, there's there's two trains of thought in zoo design. I'm not gonna go too much on a rant, but there's there's <laughs> okay. the ones that think that you shouldn't go over the top with immersion because you never you can never really immerse someone because of the fences. And then there are people who yep. say no, no, immersion all the way. Mm -hmm. I feel I mean, like San Diego Wild Animal Park does that pretty well, yeah. but they also have the land to do it for sure. Yeah, exactly, you need you need to do. But let's but let's talk about this because this apart, is... apart from apart from these two two strings or lines or whatever, I think one important thing is th something that Sylph told us all the time. It's weenies, uh -huh. and <laughs> we were missing some of those in this area in particular. I mean, I'm not even joking. Mm -hmm. Like you got lost because you had no idea where to go next. And that's fixed now. Oh, yeah. and I love that. Which, For sure. yeah, uh, which I in, in okay. itself don't mind because sometimes some zoos grow so organically, which is completely mm -hmm. different to theme parks from what I've heard you guys oh, talk sure. about it. Oh, yes. That, that it's sometimes zoos just don't make sense at all. But that's okay. <laughs> at the same time, I think they're both kind of converging to the same, to like similar design languages. I think zoos yeah. these days are taking more and more cues from mm -hmm. uh, the theme park world in that sense, becoming oh my more God. Yeah, the skid marks. Oh, yeah, taking sure. these kind of wayfinding tips. I love the skid marks. Holy crap, that was just like very heavy truck going there. <laughs> yeah, so this has been a very contested area. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> let's go up a little bit. So, so, so if you remember, there yeah. used to be one path roaming through here, and mm -hmm. it, it really didn't make sense. It was it was a bad thing on my part. Um, even fix this uh, by adding a lot more of an open sort of uh, double path here, um, and it draws you into this really wide area. Um, but it's also kind of a really important area to be able to access yeah. because it actually has access to the road. It has access to Silv's restaurant. And then it also needs to have access, I guess, if you ever need to get down here. Um, I don't know if you need heavy machinery down there. I feel oh, like this yeah. guy probably made a mistake and broke the, uh, the plaster in this area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, lo I, I just but love that, the story. That's something that, that happens in zoos all the time. Like, they, they yeah. the, the idea of, 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 of roads, like, like functional roads for um, stuff like that, Usually they just go through the entire zoo. They go where they have to go. It doesn't matter if it's yeah. a staff road or not. So but the like gates this. are back. We we worked b between we thought we might do a tunnel. Then we said, mm, well, I said, probably <laughs> water is going to be a problem. You're going to probably yeah. be dealing with uh, a, a bad sort of subgrade. So it made more sense to just do a double gate system. Because you don't, you don't really have to access heavy, heavy cars and stuff no, like that over to the restaurant. Um, so yeah, that's where we landed. I ripped out his tunnel and I put back the, <laughs> put back the intersection. It's okay. I'm a dick. <laughs> I, I just oh, love, yeah. 
I just love how the, the whole area changed. I mean, funny enough, I thought you ripped apart more of my stuff, but in fact, the basic no, no, habitat no. just stayed the same and you just worked around, yeah. which I love a lot. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's, not, you know, this, yeah, I, it's not this area that he ripped apart. Oh, I'm sorry. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you say that I did it. I didn't do it. I'm, oh, oh, no, 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 no. We're going to go to that area at the end of the episode once everyone stops watching and then... <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, fine. Well, you need to have a locker building. Why? There's no roller coasters over here. There's no attractions or anything. But if you want to get into your swim trunks, why would you want to get into your swim trunks? Uh, well... For this, maybe. Ooh. Here is... The playground. You remember oh the playground that uh, Rudy made? Oh, wow. Yeah, I. Uh, That's so good. Remember it a little bit. <laughs> um, a little bit differently. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good, Mike. Jesus Christ. So this is the Delady Celebration playground. This is when she received a million views on was it Malin <laughs> Zoo um, tour or something like that. Actually, it was when she reached 100,000 uh, K subscribers. Yeah. But, but scrap I that. that too. Scrap <laughs> that because she reached both and she's well into the 120s yeah. or something now. So whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of amazing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, oh if you God. want to come down and splash, because it's really hot outside, you got yourself a little oh splash God. pool. Oh, so nice. parents can sit on the uh, the bench here and kind of watch oh. their yep. their little ones kind of splash clever. around. That's so there's cool. plenty of places to get out. There's two big sort of uh, staircases to get out. It's very shallow. You should not be able to drown. Ideally, I really do hope that these crocs are not made out of uh, strong materials. I hope that's kind of soft <laughs> materials because these spikes on the tail, man. <laughs> oh yeah, they would definitely have to be uh, less uh, like rubbery kind uh, stone. Of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You got this, if you want, then you kind of hop up and you can come over to the giant uh, swings. swings. Oh, I love, that. Oh, I, can, I love these. I can already imagine it. Kids running from the splash area into this, uh, this mulch yep. kind of material and making everything. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a good avatar for uh, like uh, rubberized uh, No, no, whatever. no, I think, I think it's, it's, I think it's the best thing that that actually is mulch because okay. it, it's so realistic. Uh, so maybe I even have one point of criticism at the end, but let's go through here. We might. Yes. Yeah, yes, I yes, also yes. have a point of criticism and I, I'd like to see if we're on the same one, but we'll okay. see at the end. Uh oh. No, 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 tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> Oh. Well, in that I'm case, excited. I'm just going to go through. Uh, I think the swings are a little bit too close to each other. There's a certain distance they need to be. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> that's I tried to get as many swings on there as possible. That probably... <laughs> mm, they're a little close. Yeah, you, you can definitely swing slightly from left to right on these kinds of things. And if multiple oh. children are swinging on these same swings, uh, and they're just going to... You know, you hit it the wrong way, they're, they're definitely going to crash into each other. <laughs> Alright, well that'll be fun. <laughs> You've got this really cool uh, climbable like little twine ball um, that they can either hang off or they can, uh, you know, it's it's kind of like, I think I, in my childhood it was called a spider web and you could climb over this giant dome. Um, this one's a little smaller than that, but... You've also got these little sort of ladders that they can climb over or under, oh, okay. kind of run through. You've got this cool little like ropes course where you jump to the different oh, paddles. Oh, I love that, yeah. Across there and then run through the rings. Like, and if you jump the wrong way, do you fall on a bunch of rocks? But <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> no, no, it's, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's a little smoking slash chill out area for the parents. Um, reuse some of the benches yeah. from that from the area that I think used to be here, but uh, it's no longer here. And then, yeah, we had to repurpose this because this was really cool. Oh, yeah. Just climbing up the slide. I don't think Serpent you slide. understand how slides work, Mike. <laughs> 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 to be honest, to be honest, so many kids do it this way. <laughs> yes. It's true. And it's actually yeah, the and most one kind of goes down and, one, kid, and they so. get stuck in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, oh, I you like little, yourself this. a little like rock climbing wall. Oh, too. That's so cool. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. And that uses like the little bracket pieces from the Europe set too. Oh. So, I mean, I don't have very much playground experience. I feel like these rocks would probably be a problem. 
um, especially that they can climb all the way up here. I tried to use as many spiky plants as possible to deter that, <laughs> but I feel like they could probably fall over the side and... Uh, uh, well, here's what I was trying to do. I was trying to make a, an enclosed area that didn't feel too enclosed so that the children wouldn't get kidnapped. That was, that was my thought. <laughs> I quite, I quite like the change, but one thing you're missing out on, and even put the perfect ground for that, is kids get dirty in there, yeah. like a lot dirty. Oh. And you need, at every exit of this area, you would need to have some, you know, little potential things That's to smart. get oh, yeah, to babies and kids, at least the feet and stuff, cleaned off, you know? That's smart. Yeah, That's I didn't even think about that. That's Talking something you always need. need. <laughs> that's not a segue that's that cool. I kind of wanted. That, that, that's <laughs> a weird start to a sentence, but go on. Yeah, this area was completely asphalt at one point, and then I was like, "Wait, if you run, if you run back through the lockers on bare feet, and the asphalt oh, yeah. has been in the sun for like the bit largest part of the day, you're gonna have you're gonna have what I had when I was a kid, and that's just <laughs> not fun." <Blisters. laughs> exactly. So yeah, so it, that was that was a really cool thing. So I, I think that's a good idea too. Uh, so would it be like a wash area or like a like a little um, hose off area or yeah, what? Yeah, it, it would just be like this little hose off machines where you could put your exactly, feet yeah. under, I guess. Yeah, and then have some. Okay. Just spray your feet. Yeah, and then you have maybe one or two of these little uh, showers, like you know, you can pull off and then yeah. put them. Yeah. That's that's enough, but you just to to clean I them think off. That's fantastic. That's a that's a cool detail that I'm gonna try yeah. and. Well, who knows? I'm <laughs> in my so mind, I'm done with this area. Around Christmas that's 2022, a... yeah. <laughs> exactly. So this is the path that takes you back over to the uh, petting zoo slash. You can take you up the Highlands Trail, or back wow. to the micro house. And I think we got one more thing, right? Oh yeah, that's right. We're going to. Yeah, go. exactly. Didn't, didn't you this say way. that you wanted to try to make your episodes shorter and we're now at 44 minutes already? <laughs> I mean, it's a quality to an episode. I'll do some <laughs> editing. Shut up. And it's actually, it's, it's actually pretty quick. It's like, <laughs> we're, we're not taking that much There's time. There's a lot here. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a hell of a lot here. Oh my God. And you haven't so seen as it you all come yet. Up this, <laughs> as you come up the side of the micro house, this, this path I've always loved that you can just kind of walk up the side of it. You start to see uh, some new architecture. With the Europac Ooh. wall, which I love a lot. Mm, I love that wall. Um, you can still head over to the Flamingo Lagoon area. Um, this still is accessible, which is lovely. Oh yeah, the balcony is finally integrated, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's well done. And yeah. you can see Sumatra back there, you can see the pink grill, you can see all the lovely landmarks of Kuali. But many, if you want to kind of get away for a little bit and just kind of kind of sit down, you come into the Grand oh Peacock my Garden. God. Oh wow! You even wait. That's you, the restaurant back there. Yeah. Uh huh. That's Holy so well integrated. Shit. I I really I really didn't like the cork oaks, and you used them <laughs> in a way that I actually start to like them. So when <laughs> I I agree, I did not like the cork oaks either, and I'm and I started working in this area, and I had different trees, and then I tried them. And I'm like, maybe it's just the map and the way the light hits it, but I don't find it offensive. I quite yeah. love it. It's but so they old. have a good so size. They have a good size. I think sizes are yeah. very important about the trees in Plant Zoo as well. So I think the size is very yeah. good of that one. I, I love this. But yeah, you can just kind of take a rest here. This used to be, if we can remember all the way back, Sil's Restaurant was where it is. Um, and then I had this sort of um, like bar area yeah, where a lot of these benches and um, and that kind of got ripped out and moved around and it's returned. There's this lovely little terrace. And then you head into the more historic side of the garden, which is right in here. Oh my god, that looks so god fantastic. It, like, yeah, this looks is amazing. Great. But you went full on Euro pack pieces here. It's like, hell, give me that <laughs> oh, pack yeah. and, and just. Oh god. I mean, is it's your... just so pretty. Uh, the path is pretty. The little railings are pretty. Is the your... foliage is, for the most part, pretty. Is your peacock <laughs> floating again? Yeah, I. It's Planet Zoo is going to Planet Zoo, right? Oh, that is <laughs> just. It, it looks just like that. Just name it floating. Jesus by now, like. <laughs> That looks. <laughs> that really looks like that uh, floating stroller of Baby Yoda, right, LA. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
Oh man, this looks so <laughs> good. It's ugh. and see, this is it's one of the like, points. It's just like it's offensive how good this looks. I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> this is also leave how some good room it can for the look. rest of us. <laughs> I mean, he took What's his that? time. He took his time. He, he, he's cramping like. A, a year's worth of episodes in, in the few <laughs> weeks that he's been working on this and it's insane. It's absolutely insane. I yeah, mean, because just... also like uh, half the things that we've seen so far, like all of that could have been many different episodes. Like <laughs> each of the different... This alone deserves an episode. And I think I think we're like at one third of everything he's done so far. So no, are you kidding? You guys... Oh you yeah, there's, there's two know. other episodes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but that's that's Worth like stuff. That's, that's like what you have to take when you break so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At one so point, you, you need to here? come back and fix it. I'll oh, take you back to the point. Flamingo Lagoon. That's so cool. This lighting is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So this, it's this getting to our so reservation cute. time. So we should probably yeah. head back. Oh, and, you uh, smart man! Go. Just uh, set it up that you. C I was waiting to go to the other side. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Wonderful. I here's the thing. I love Sills buildings. I love Sills architecture. It dots, you know, not nearly enough of the zoo uh, as it is. So, I really wanted to make sure that this was special, um, like extra, extra, extra special. I feel so. So honored. here we go. So we've oh, got. Wait. You gave it an interior of sorts? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Oh, <laughs> oh you got to be ready for this. Am I, am I going so, to be scolded for not helping you with the interior enough, Mike? <laughs> uh, you're not going to be scolded. You did, you oh. did great, buddy. Okay, okay. <laughs> so in this area, this is also a pass-through, so there is uh, some, uh, like, don't disturb netting for people who are dining at the restaurant. I so that, that people who aren't dining at the restaurant can still see the peacock garden and viewing and the Jesus peacock. <laughs> <laughs> they are they are doing nothing. Why aren't why aren't you doing something? They never lay down. <laughs> I, li I like it though. Here's another thing I can actually say about uh, Planet Zoo. If you haven't played in a while and you're more of a sandbox player, they created a whole host of options to turn off all welfare and like animal escapes and you can just have the the animated props that you want it's really easy <laughs> this, it's so funny to hear you be excited about features that we've been working with for like months now <laughs> <laughs> hey well you haven't seen my australia dlc episode yet oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're saying all of this because it's it's nice to like you know stay up yeah. to date as well. Yeah, for the for the few of us that uh, that haven't played in a while, I, sometimes it just it requires a little bit of a nudge to get back. There's a little kind of seating area here for you to wait, but I think our table's just about ready. So yeah. let, Ooh. oh my god, oh, go. wow! I love a lovely it so little much. waiting area can see over to the lovely diners over there. Dude, the foliage as well. It's <laughs> it's insane. And we've been we've been making benches with cushions with stone oh my cushions God, for so is... long and we finally get them. <laughs> I know, I love the, the gondolier cushions. It's so awesome. You've got a little thing right here, say so, alright, table for f four, right? Yeah, four. Yeah. Was five, but she couldn't make it. Yeah, waiting time, <laughs> check, checking the QR codes and stuff is taking time at the moment. Oh wow, yeah. I I didn't I didn't check the bar at night. Oh, that's gonna be cool. The bar at night is just gorgeous. So let, yeah, let's go get a drink, shall we? Oh my goodness! Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Holy crap! So I can. This is the inside it. of that that yeah, iconic this is the, building. Yeah, the, the dome, right? The the spire. Yeah. That's yeah. oh, that's great! I love the ceiling as well. All of the woodwork, it's so good. He oh. uh, even helped me with this. He built the bar. He built the stools. He did a lot of the interior work here. I did add the wood flooring a little yeah. bit later. Oh boy, the stools! The stools. You used that that bottom piece for the new whatever this is. Yeah. But I love that. I use it for uh -huh. everything because it's the finally like a roundish dish thing, which has a good yeah, size. Yeah, exactly. Love it. And the, yeah, awesome. the new LED pieces I've used uh, for the curve. So that, oh, that mm -hmm. works so, so cool. well. The bar looks so sick. It does. It really does. 
It could also be like an I think he did, uh, he did research, um, and this is kind of how uh, bars are in Indonesia, right? Yeah, yeah. So like these these typical uh, lamps, like the bigger sizes and the smaller sizes on the counter, that was insane. Mm-hmm. Like in 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 almost every reference pick that I that I uh, <laughs> looked at, it all came back. And like the mixing bottles and stuff like that, it was always uh-huh. the, the the countertop was so full with with pieces that I was like. If you're sitting there, where do you put your drink at one point? <laughs> <laughs> it almost also it resembles a bit of a feeling of a spa, you know, when you're waiting for like mm-hmm. your time in the spa. Oh, oh yeah. I love that. Oh, you He's even have the cupboard. Even system. got cupboards back here, a sink, a bar sink. Wow. Storage, yeah. a cutting board. <laughs> it's and amazing. The, the bar sink has a um, I, I the the thing can turn either side so you can put it in the middle so you can oh, yeah. more easily wash off the dishes oh yeah that's okay. a double yeah it's like a double um tub sink oh yes. my god a such a clever use of that All new right. iron thingy whatever that is <laughs> uh, yeah what yeah, iron it's, thingy it's it's, it's a frame it's a frame piece of the led uh billboards but yeah cool all right so we've got our drinks, uh, we've had our drinks, and now they've called us to our table. So let's go into... So we can either eat uh, al fresco, or we can um, or we can dine al fresco, or we can go into the the lovely uh, dining hall. So where do we, where do we want to eat? I, I, I'm going to say inside, because I've seen the door to the inside. And I want to compliment <laughs> yeah. you on that one. <laughs> Also, because you of like, mosquitoes, like my... I, I don't like mosquitoes while eating. <laughs> I don't like get, I e- getting eating while, you know, while, while eating. eating. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, oh, I you, you have to show this in, in daylight as well, Mike, once we're done yeah. with this, because this area is so beautiful with the circles. It's insane. It's I, really I insane. really, really light. like this pack. I just love everything about it. The functionality Honestly, of it. Mike, at this point, I don't know why you still credit this building to me. Like, it's been <laughs> getting such an overhaul. This this building belongs to you guys at this point. Oh. It's really great. Okay, here we go. Going to go into the main hall. Oh, oh my god. Sweet. Oh, well done. Oh, my goodness. See, see, I couldn't have done it better, Mike. I'm glad you did it. <laughs> I I really like the way it came out. This was a slog yeah. to the end, just because interiors just are. But I couldn't imagine it any other way. It's just it's, it's just lovely. Yeah, it's oh my goodness. warm, and you could smell like the saffron and the the cardamom and the curry. Oh, just be the lovely. The stools, the stools. I, yeah, and I love how you use the mesh pieces to decorate the um, oh, the chairs. Oh yeah, the there's... diner tables. Oh my god, that's yeah. so amazing, dude! Seriously, I really, really like this. This room is so pretty. Yeah, and then if you need to go to the restroom, there's a little passer right there. That's how you get to the kitchen. The kitchen oh, the, does not the have the an interior. Lights. But... Oh my god, <laughs> it's such a yeah. nice detail. I the, the lighting works so incredibly well in here. This is like. This is the showcase yeah. for Planet Zoo. If they want to show off yeah, that game, sure. this is the showcase you want to have it for. Oh my goodness! Wait, but these so chairs. So I over added here, all these are benches. These, are these are these okay. custom? Or what? I, yeah, these are chairs. custom. Yeah. Holy no way. crap! I was really They're the trying South to... African uh, wood pieces. Yeah, the like flower. The little flower I, pieces. Yeah, yeah. I, oh my uh-huh. god! They look inch perfect. <laughs> they look so good. And the wood doesn't look like wood. It looks like some very comfy, uh, I don't know, yeah. cotton, whatever, pillow thing. Like a like a leatherette or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah more leather. Than and then you've got that. more of the big family style tables. Oh, yeah. oh, you even use the mesh piece for your light? Oh, my God, my Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. So I assume uh-huh. that a mod is going to come where it's going to allow more than 99 feet between a restaurant. So that's why there's more tables in here, even though they only use a pretty small portion of them. But that's fine. 
We are here to celebrate Frontier, not to tear them down today. <laughs> uh, big help from Ricey, too. She kind of uh, stir, steer, stirred me, steered me in the right direction, good lord, um, by changing out the lights and making sure everything was in scale. Oh, yeah. I gotta She's say, though, anyway. and I, I don't know how you made that, but it, the, it looks a lot bigger than it actually is because of the usage, how you use the shapes and stuff, and especially with the um, nighttime, you know? It just mm -hmm. seems like such a grand hall kind of ish thing. I love uh, the really I good. love the fact that this sort of like um, pillar is very metallic, so I could get some real golds in there because mm -hmm. it is like it's a little much with the gold, <laughs> <laughs> but I kind of love that. Yeah, but, but I think it, it works for the setting as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But that's like a very it. premium restaurant, isn't it? Like that's premium, premium. Yeah. That is. Yeah. This is like $50 plates type of restaurant. Yeah. To continue with what Rudy said, though, um, having that built dollar. in some of your buildings already, uh, Sylv, that that's the biggest challenge is that the indoor size isn't as big and it gives you... Yes. It just challenges you to, to use every inch of available space to, to maximize it. And man, Mike, you really outdid yourself. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> wow. Thank you. I, I Thank think, you. One you know, more detail that I want to brag about just real quick. <laughs> so when you're in this sort of like this landscaped area, there's like these little like Japanese barberries and that red is pulled through to those lipstick palms. I just love that. I love it. My God. <laughs> totally unintentional, but that's how oh, it happened. You should, you should, you should get an, an aerial view of the seating area over there because it's really beautiful. See oh, this? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. It's so with the rock cool. work on the sides. That's like that's like an image you would take with a drone to advertise it. Yes, perfectly. exactly. <laughs> that's a drone shot that you would get for, as because a, nowadays as a commercial you have to have for this. Drone, yeah, yeah, you have to have drone shots. Otherwise, you can't market your stuff. Exactly. But oh my yeah, God. I started this building amazing. this restaurant when we first got the willows. I don't remember when that was. Oh my God! I've that's, seen that's I've the seen aquatics back a year yeah, ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, wow. That's hilarious. Oh, here's that. Here's that in the day. So there's the Grand Peacock, Grand Door to get into I the dining this. room. That is just so. It has. I don't know why I have that feeling, but it for me has like the um, Indonesian Great Gatsby vibe. Does that make any sense? Oh yeah. Oh. A little, yeah. little deco. Mm-hmm. You know, that's just the vibe it has for me. Wow. It's so impressive. So cool. So there you go. That also, is Kowali episode 44. See, That's absolutely nuts. In brackets, Rudy, I, I give you, including I give you a hard time episodes. very often, but oh, god yes, damn you it, do. dude. God damn it, this <laughs> looks amazing. And I've seen all this for the past few days, and I'm still sitting here like, how did he do all of this? That's insane. You just you get a podcast on and you focus. <laughs> What, what, what this podcasts area. do you use? I, I need them. Uh, <laughs> I've been using a lot of um, a podcast called Office Ladies, which is uh, Jenna Fisher and uh, Angela Kinsey from The Office, the American oh, version. Oh. Talk about, they kind of go through episode by episode. Oh, cool. Right. And realize this place is actually quite ugly at night. All right, put it back to the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Also, I, I love just seeing, you know, some of the buildings that I've built long, long ago and seeing them get a new place and these interiors and yeah. like totally come to life with everything that's around them, uh, which is which is just, yeah, I, I love seeing it because uh, I love building buildings, but, you know, doing the, the path work and things around it or putting them in the right context isn't something that I'm always the best at. And this absolutely just, yeah makes them makes them come to life in the best way possible i well, thank you. Oh, i can ahead. only agree and i think i i just have like kind of a an image in my head right now this episode feels like you know when a family has like a big puzzle going on for for a year <laughs> on the dining table yeah. and like they have guests the whole year and you can never sit down there because there's that big unfinished puzzle <laughs> it feels like that you finally invited us and we all came into your dining room and that table was free and we we've had a beautiful <laughs> dining with you together like a dinner on that table because you finally finished that puzzle that's that's the image of this episode i thought that's you were a, gonna that's say a good you way of 
You made a beautiful so puzzle. I thought that that was where you were going. <laughs> no, you obviously did. I mean, the, the puzzle is beautiful. More than that, I just, I mean, you ripped apart a lot of the pieces you already assembled. But <laughs> I, I took scissors to a few of the pieces. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you have you have no clue. You have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean it's just iconic building. It was beautiful when you built yeah. it the first time. Um I just I was happy that that the pieces have gotten smaller, that the game has become more accessible to being able to build a crazy interior like that. It's just it's it's really a joy to work with. Um yeah, I mean, even just... if it is stuttering in this park really badly <laughs> and it takes 15 <laughs> minutes to load, but that's fine. <laughs> Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you guys for being here as well. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yeah, yeah no problem. And we'll see, see you in the next, next one. one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.